I just made a video with six tips for lighting when you wear glasses and I realise it's very similar to another problem I often hear. How to deal with lights reflecting on your TV or whiteboard. So let's look in this video at how to get rid of those reflections. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Adrian Salisbury, founder of the Pro Video Academy, where I teach people how to make videos to this quality. You can find out more in the description below. So you're getting reflections on your TV screen or your whiteboard, eh? No problem, let's give you some ways to get rid of that. Let me say first that it's not about the type of lights as much as the positions of them. It doesn't matter whether you're using a ring light, LED light panels or big soft boxes, or even the window. If it's in front, then it's gonna get caught in this reflection. So here are three steps that you can take to eliminate this problem. Number one, move the lights to the side. The simplest and most obvious is to move your lights from directly in front to the sides. Watch as we demonstrate this. Watch this light reflection here. Simply moving it a few feet to the side gets rid of it. In a lower TV screen, not only taking them to the sides, but lifting them up can also help get rid of them out of that reflection area. I've just made a very simple little diagram for you that you can download before that just helps to understand what's going on with the light reflecting here. Also, if you wanna know the exact lights that I use and recommend, uh, you can check out that link below as well to a review that I recently did. Or if you hang on to the end, this video should run straight onto that one. Now, as you can see, we've got a problem here. This is one of the reasons that I don't like standing so far away from the lights and so close to the wall. In most of my videos, you'll see that there's a space between me and this back wall, and part of that is because it eliminates shadows. In another video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of this shadowing when you're working close up like this. Number two, tilt the screen. If your screen or board isn't fixed flat to a wall, then try tilting it slightly to the side because it will do the same job as moving these lights around. Thirdly, use a camera rather than your webcam. Now, your webcam has a pretty wide field of view that allows you to get close in, but it's adding to the problem, as you can see demonstrated in these diagrams. If your camera is up close, you're gonna get a much wilder reflection than if you take the camera back and zoom it in. Now you likely don't have this option with a webcam, but if you're using a camera in this scenario and you have the room in front of you, then take that camera further back and it will make a big difference to what gets caught in the reflection. Well, there you go. Let me know which tip was most useful and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this.